A photograph of a woman scratching her bum is one of the best selling posters of all time. Strange but true. Some posters define decades. For example, posters of Guns N' Roses and Betty Blue of the 80s, Bob Marley and Kurt Cobain of the 90s, Pokemon and Lord of the Rings of the 90s, and Justin Bieber and the Twilight films of the present. But the pioneer of such iconic posters, the tennis girl, still holds its place in history. This popular photo has adorned the bedroom walls of countless teenage boys for the past three decades. Martin Elliott, who had photographed the tennis girl, sold the image rights to Athena but retained the copyright, earning him an estimated 250,000 euros in royalty payments. But what about the girl in the tennis girl? The answer to this question was not known for around 25 years after the photograph had been taken. The photograph subject was 18-year-old Fiona Butler. Miss Butler wasn't keen on tennis. The footwear and tennis dress she wore in the photograph were both borrowed by her. The balls on the court were ones she used to throw for her pet dog. In 2011, Chris Nightingale published a book on the subject entitled The Making of an Icon. To promote the book, he commissioned Ben Dernley to create a full-size model cast in imitation gold. The sculptor used the original poster model Fiona Butler to create the plastic cast which formed the basis of the sculpture. Most iconic pictures inspire people to make parodies. And the tennis girl is no exception to the rule. This one is an advertisement by Intercasino. This one shows the recreation of the tennis girl by Lego. This one is a copycat pose by tennis celebrity Pat Cash. This one shows the recreation of the tennis girl by Gems Radar. And this one is self-explanatory. The popularity of this poster is so high that even the glamorous Russian star Maria Sharapova in 2011 found time to recreate the tennis girl after the wind caught her mini dress. Thankfully, unlike her 1970s counterpart, Miss Sharapova had remembered to put on some underwear.